was just going to get harder. And, but it, it's the start to my NHL career, so I'm um, really happy in Winnipeg, and, and hopefully I can prove them right with their pick. What was yesterday like for you? Um, it was tough. I mean, you don't really expect to go, or you, you can't expect to go to the first round because anything can happen. But uh, I was pretty optimistic to the fact that I thought I would be. And, uh, it was a tough night, but uh, obviously this is probably one of the best days of my life. So I'm excited to get going with the Jets and move uh, forward with Winnipeg. How would you describe your style of play? Uh, I think two-way center is the best way to describe me. Um, uh, personally, I like to think of myself as pretty offensive, and that's the kind of the way I like to go out and play it, is to make plays and, and pass the puck and set up my teammates. So I think I'm more pass first and shoot first, but um, I think I'm trying to round on my game more, but um, definitely I think I'm very offensive. You talk about the impact of your dad? Um, yeah, it was big. Obviously, he played in the NHL and, and got drafted second round, so uh, he kind of could prepare me a little bit. I mean, there's nothing to really prepare you for, for this moment or anything, but um, throw hockey has always been there for me and really supported my whole family, is, so I'm really fortunate for them. Did your uncle have any advice for you either? Um, I mean, a little bit. I, I think it's more just enjoy the moment and, and whatever happens is going to work out. So um, I know it's just a pick and it's just a number, so it doesn't give me any more advantage than anyone else that's going to be drafted or even undrafted. So uh, I'm just ready to get to work and prove it right and, and be the best player I can. What's the biggest thing you think you got to work on in terms of rounding out your game? I think just strength in general. Uh, I mean, I'm, I need to be mature and get bigger and have a couple of time, but I know I'm going to put the work in it and make sure it happens. How did hockey become your passion? Obviously, your dad played, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to go down the same path. Yeah, I mean, he kind of started off with us off on hockey, but as far as my parents never really forced me or did anything like that. I think um, to be able to play hockey at this level and to continue it, you have to have the right passion and the love for the game and enjoy it. So um, he kind of let us figure that out for ourselves. And, and so far, it's been working. And, uh, just continue to love the game and bring my love and passion to the game. Yeah, what made you love it? Um, I think just the, the competition. Uh, very competitive. I think if you watch me play, that goes pretty. Uh, it comes out in the game, and uh, I think that part of it, and, and obviously in winning and everything, and um, the end goal to win a Stanley Cup is something that I've been dreaming about since I was very young. So uh, this is just another step, and, and uh, hopefully make the NHL and then uh, stay with the Stanley Cup as well. Do you forget when they they call your name? Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, um, you kind of go through each both days hoping to hear your name called. Unfortunately, it wasn't last night, but um, it was more of the team and, and the right situation to go to. And, and hopefully it's Winnipeg and I'll see in the coming years and the coming months here. But, um, yeah, it's exciting and, and to have my family there and to be able to share with them and, and kind of show them that all my work has paid off to this point and, and to continue to work and develop as a player and a person. That's what I'm going to focus on now. How many people have you got here shortly? Um, I think all my, my family and uh, my dad's side is all from around the Ohio area and my grandparents live in Florida, so kind of the American side of my family it all came down, so uh, by 15, 20, including my dad's friends when I was growing up, so um, it'll be nice to kind of see them and to, to share with them as well. It's like having your dad as GM with Prince George. Yeah, it's a unique situation. Um, it's, it's not every day that, that your dad's a GM and, or even in part of the organization in some ways, so... Um, I mean, I love it. Um, I think it helps me out having him up there. It kind of brings a familiarity to Prince George, being uh, pretty far away from home in Vancouver. So um, it's worked out so far, and, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good season next year, and, and just to continue to improve and, and be better than I was last year. Make for some interesting dinner conversation, or can you separate the hockey and the family time pretty easily? Yeah, I mean, it never really separates. I mean, you got to just be careful what you say and what you don't say. So um, it's kind of both parts have to, to really focus on it, but. Uh, for us, it's kind of been my whole life. He's always been right above me and, and um, really supported me in my hockey career so far. So I'm, I'm sure it'll be the same moving forward, and, and hopefully we can we can do that together in the shorts and hopefully have a good season next year. Uh, but right now, it's more just focusing on the training camp with Winnipeg and proving that uh, I'm the best player that they took, which is my goal. Do you remember going to the rink with him as a kid or anything like that? Or? Yeah, I mean, um, it. It was so frequent that it kind of kind of have to remember it. Um, my parents were awesome supporting me growing up, and and uh, I definitely would be here today, and like most people here. So uh, I think uh, I'm really fortunate to have them, and especially the situation like Vancouver. It's a great city for me to grow up in, and play hockey, and really competitive. So um, really appreciate what they've done, and continue to do moving forward. Who's your favorite player growing up? And um, well, being Vancouver, was always Ryan Kessler. I think um, my style might emulate him a little bit. I think he's he's very two-way and, and good in both zone 
Collins as a centerman and pretty big and strong. So that's a player I like to kind of um, on my game after a little bit, including a couple others. But um, I think as I get stronger, like I said, and work on that, I think I can really develop as a player like him. We're meeting you to play for Canada too this year on a couple of occasions. Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, um, it's an honor to team and put on that sweater at all. So um, I think it would have been really fortunate to win medals every time I played with them and hopefully moving forward is so different. And, and um, obviously I'm going to train really hard this summer and have the best start to the season next year as I can and hopefully make that World Junior team. But um, for me it's more focusing on Winnipeg and, and um, my country is obviously really important and, and I love every event I go with Canada. They're first class and, and they've treated me really well so far. And, um, I can't say enough good things about Hockey Canada, what they've done for me as a player and a person. So um, hopefully they'll give me an opportunity and we'll see what happens. What do you know about Winnipeg? Pardon? What do you know about the city? Um, quite a lot, actually. Um, growing up in, in British Columbia, we, we did a lot of spring tournaments in, in Winnipeg growing up, even when the Jets weren't there with just the Moose. And, and it was electric, yeah. just them playing. So um, I'm excited to see what Winnipeg's like with the Jets. I've never been to a game, but I've seen lots on TV. And, and everyone around the league knows the fan base is, is really awesome. And um, looking forward to kind of seeing what it's about. And, um, like I said, I've been there a few times, and, and I really like the city. I think it's a really good sports city, and, and hopefully um, the Jets will get a championship soon.